Before starting usage, you should perform some preparations. Firstly, it is necessary to consider the time of the sweep and situation. It is recommended to carry out a sweep during working hours in real situations, when the eavesdropper most wants to listen and with the presence of sound in the room. In this case, it may be necessary to arrange a fictitious meeting. Secondly, to avoid false detections, turn off all legal RF transmitting devices before starting the sweeping procedure. Wi-Fi devices like routers, printers, etc., cordless phones, cell phones, Bluetooth devices, etc. Enter the room while holding the iProtect 1205 and start probing objects and surfaces with its antenna. It is recommended to carry out inspection at a distance of not less than 10 to 20 centimeters from the object. Move around the room and probe all the items, surfaces, gaps, etc. Pay special attention to the places where electrical wires are present as a potential bugging device could be powered by these. An increased RF level on the bar graph and or vibration from the iProtect 1205 are signs of radio waves, which can be produced both by a normal device like a Wi-Fi router or a real bugging device. The task of operator is to find the place with the maximum RF level and then to trace the transmitter. Please remember that interference may also get into a room from adjacent premises. It can be Wi-Fi routers, conversations using GSM, 3G mobile phones in the neighboring flats, offices, or VHF, UHF communications from a taxi car standing near the building. If the RF level is strong, the bar graph may show the maximum level. The attenuator function will be useful in this case. Turn it on and continue searching for the place with the maximum level. After finding a place with a strong RF level, go to a physical inspection. Disassemble the object and try to find the transmitter. Do not stop sweeping even if a bugging device is found. Some other, better hidden bugging devices may still be present in the room.